Welcome back to Eat and Talk, everybody. It's Yusra again. Um, and I'm Gilbert. And we got the team and creations over here yes, eating yes, real sir, good. Yes, yeah, about to start talking. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have each of you guys introduce yourself. Let's start with you. How y'all doing? My name is Deepo Luca, but a lot of people just call me Poe. My Instagram name is Poe Shot, so y'all can follow me. Okay. Um, I'm the creator of everything. It's Ant Antoine Jenkins. Um, and y'all can follow me as well, as Antoine Jenkins. Uh, my name is uh, Shadow Exuma. I'm a photographer based out of Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. uh, also go by Shaddy, and my Instagram name is uh, Shaddy the Shooter. Y'all tap in. <coughs> my name is Stefan, but a lot of people like to call me Fon. I'm the creative manager and designer over at uh, Ants Creations. Y'all follow me Fon Dope on all social media. We'll put um, all their Instagrams and the link on our YouTube. But so, um, first of all, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, we are really excited to tap in with you guys. We're gonna start off um, what Ants Creation is with the shoe. I want to know how how this started, how yes. it's created. I want to know. Um, you know where the inspiration came from, so let's let's start dive into that first. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you get in there, thank you for uh, shout out to y'all for giving me the food yeah. and shout out to Flow Motion too. So, yo, yeah. big yeah. shout out to Flow Motion. Yeah. Hey, Flo Motion, you did that thing. You did that. That's what it's about, right? That's when you want me eating black all. That's it. That's true. Um, so how this came about? Basically, I started off the new year kind of diving into like nature. So I kind of went the first quarter of. Everything that I was like doing was kind of like a nature aspect and using that into my design process. So with that, I was like inspired by like Travis Scott with all their like earth tones that he was using for like his SBs mm -hmm. and like his Jordans. Mm -hmm. And I was like thinking like I had, I made a jumpsuit about the Minnesota loon. So I was gonna tie that into the whole entire aspect. So it kind of bring in like the Minnesota, <laughs> excuse me, feel. Mm -hmm. And basically um, I was walking into like the fabric store and the first time I looked and I was looking at it for like 30, 40 minutes, like trying to figure out different fabrics that I was trying to find. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find it. And so I gave myself a deadline and I just walked into there and I was actually talking to this whole group chat, matter of fact. And I literally just walked in, it was the first material that I saw and it's like, it perfectly expressed Minnesota. So from like some patches of it being like, a scenic view of the woods and then deer. Yeah, and then there was that. another view of it, just like the earthy waters. And that kind of reminded me of like the winter like light blue color cool blue colors that you see right when it snows on like the river and all those good colors so i literally grabbed the shoe and i did a different silhouette instead of like the air force one i usually do and grab the blazer to kind of express everything mm -hmm. of the material didn't let that be the shoe mm -hmm. and that created it and took the inspiration from like i said the travis scott and did the rope shoe strings yeah, the, the, it's really the unique. Detail, yep, it's the it's detail. detail. It's really, it's really Midwest. It's really <laughs> Minnesota. It's uh, everyday streetwear, but at the same time, like it's formal too, which I like it. And it's versatile. Boys and girls yeah. can rock this. So, um, this is dope. So, how'd you guys meet? How'd you create a team like this? Um, so I used to live in North Dakota, but I used to go out there for school, and so I lived out there for about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And after I dropped out of school, I moved to Fargo from where I was at because I was living in a small town. Mm -hmm. And then once I moved to Fargo, I was already friends with Shaddy from back out here. Mm -hmm. And then I was cool with Poe as well. And then I kind of talked to him about like, yo, just shooting pictures, taking pictures of my shoes because I wanted more professional shots. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another where we are just working and working and working. <clears throat> And it kind of came to, I wanted to do a rebrand. And I was like, I was telling Stefan, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I want you to do some of my graphics. And we were just meeting every Sunday, talking it up. And then it was like, yo, like, how about, he saw the, the picture being big as just as what I saw. So mm -hmm. it was like, yo, I actually don't want you to pay me month to month or like pay, just let me work, let's just work together and build mm -hmm. something. And so with that, I, we was already friends with both of these two photographers and mm -hmm. I thought their work was already top tier. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, let's just team up together and just start making these drops together. Mm -hmm. And this is my plan. And once I started telling them the plan of like how I was going to design the shoe and gave, gave, gave them the creative lead, 
that's how it kind of just happened. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, and it, it's important to have a team because it's not For a sure. one man job. So no, I think that's awesome. Team. And they can kind of yeah. explain too how. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, please so chime all in, all you guys. <laughs> uh, my cousin Cephas put me, like, me, he, he was cool with Antoine at first, and then we kind of just linked up from them. So Antoine hit me. The first shoe, actually, I think, was the shoe he made for the Thought Maker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was some Adidas basketball shoe, whatever. I took some pictures of that, sent it, and then Thought Maker wore it in one of his games or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then, like, like, like he said, ever since then, like, we just, man, we just had that connection, mm -hmm. started working, and gave us a creative leeway, so we just, we just yeah. took over from that. Wow. Yeah, basically. I think for me and Ann, I think we met, like, in Fargo, mm -hmm. but we knew each other somewhat because we had a lot of mutual friends mm -hmm. in Minneapolis, but, like, we started getting close, we started pulling up to our crib, mm -hmm. started talking about, like, marketing ideas and stuff like that, but, like, I think when we really got close, when, we, when me and, and Fawn went to L.A., oh, that's, that's when it, like, that's changed that's the whole game. Yeah. yeah. So that's when it changed the whole so game. So how? Tell me about L.A. That's damn near another podcast. Yeah. 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 That's another episode for that. To sum it up, to, um, yeah. New York I mean, too. I'll let mm -hmm. y'all know how to spell that New story, bro. Yeah. Um, and Chicago. Who wants to tell the story? All the I mean, big cities. <laughs> Who wants to tell the story? Was what, what, do we go, what do we go there for? No, oh, so, so LA is what got oh, yeah. us three tapped in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Chicago is what got me and him locked in to start working together. Mm -hmm. And then New York is what kind of helped us all find yeah, our similar vibe. Yeah. 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 And that's where we really became yeah. a whole, you know, yeah. team. Yeah. I mean, we, found, we found our positions, like what to do as yeah. a team, basically. Okay. Sometimes you got to get out to Minnesota, too. Absolutely. Experience. That's very true. So yeah. where, yeah. where yeah. from Minnesota are you guys from? Uh, Brooklyn Park. Okay. Brooklyn Park. Yeah. All I guess Brooklyn Park? Coon Rapids. Coon Rapids. Coon Rapids. Okay, nice. So um, what, I mean, clearly, just being a young black man in this industry, trying to build a brand and everything we come through some obstacles yes. you know um right. not everything you know people see our success at the end of like oh he got a shoe line he yeah. made it but i'm sure you know it, there was some obstacles so what are some obstacles you guys went through and how did you guys overcome it yeah during the project from beginning to end like you know whatever oh, this or specific job or just as like oh, the journey oh, brand, right. the journey oh, for the brand oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, I, what are some obstacles i feel like one of the for, like, for us me and shaggy i could say like as photographers trying to figure out where we want to shoot mm -hmm. how we're going to shoot because minnesota cold yeah so cold yeah. Yeah. Was, like this one that we did yeah uh, so. we, we was outside uh, i don't know if you can see that one on the on oh the, the tree yeah. so yeah. we That's was outside cool. for like i want to say maybe 40. <laughs> Then like it, it was just like it, <laughs> yeah. was, it was below. I think Actually, if you want to, if you can go to his website uh, and just yeah. click like the, the website. So um, but yeah, it was it's it in was his bio. That you day. can see like we have like photography of like the actual um, of the actual shoot that we did. Mm. But I feel like that was one big thing of like trying to figure out where to shoot. And then like yeah, and models, and if you go go reason, to the releases. You like dropping in the winter time. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Either. Yeah, like like. The little, the, the little blazer. Little blazer. Right there, yeah. And then you can see this is the photography they shot outside in the woods to yeah. kind of get that whole. Wow, that's dope. So uh, we actually shot that at, where, where was that in? This was in Stillwater? Stillwater. No, it wasn't wow. Stillwater. It was like Mount, it was like Mount. Yeah, area. Mount Three Area. This is the one that caught my attention. Yeah, yeah. me too. This is crazy. Yeah, this is the one Shots by Shaggy the Shooter. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Shaggy went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but what's new? But what's <laughs> new? <laughs> can we curse on this podcast or no? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That nigga shot that shit. He shot that. That's it, you feel me? Real shooter. Real, Real shooter, man. Shooter. Shout out the models too. Though. Yeah, shout out all yeah. the models. Shout out Tammy, Wyatt, and Easy D. Uh, I mean, these are some fire shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, you did your thing. Oh, Thank wow. you, man. Thank you. Paul did some of those too, though. Don't let him talk. Wow. <laughs> he took some pictures too. So. Okay, this is the yeah, last this is collection we did. Yeah. So. Okay. This, this is before COVID. So. so you guys have clothes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we sell okay. clothes. Okay. Yeah. He got his shirt right here, actually. Yeah. Okay. Some shirts and stuff. Nice. Yeah. So how did you come up with the name? Um, Basically, so like I said, I had my... Uh, before I was even doing my brand like this before I wanted to take it to that next professional level. I was doing Ants Customs, like that's what it was. And I was just, I had a little bit of success of meeting different artists and bigger names into it. And so I was like, you know what? I can still take the same formula of how I'm reaching out mm -hmm. and basically use that to put into a bigger brand and just follow what these bigger companies are doing, but on a smaller scale. And basically with that, I was like, you know what? I was trying to come up with different names of like, I want a French name. I want a 
Japanese name, <laughs> like all this stuff and stuff, but it wasn't me. So then I was like, you know what? Just let me just come up with Ed's creations because I know me being the person I am, I'm always going to want to create something out of the box. Mm. Though, and I don't want my brand's name to kind of just throw me in that mm-hmm. box. So mm. anything I create is always just going to be something like it's a creation. Mm-hmm. Of mine. So that's, that's kind of how I came up with it. You see, he work, he be, he's acting humble right now. So he hold on. So G Herbal, hold on. And <laughs> <Jesus Herbal. laughs> That's not even all of them. Wait, collaborate with Lil Skies. Okay. That's okay. So people are gonna want to know. Roddy you know. Rich, he's not on the yeah. list. He's, he's a part of that too. Okay. Really? Yeah, there's a few more names on there. Little Kid, right? Yeah, Little Kid on there. Little Kid on there. Yeah, those guys. That's that's um, huge. You have any Minnesota artists on here too? Or no. Uh, like big names. Gary Trent Jr. Yeah, Gary Trent Jr. Okay. He's a basketball player, but um, I'm Portland. Portland Trailblazers, yeah. So is it networking? You it's know, definitely networking. Okay, I was going <laughs> to say, so Any, that's how Nothing's you... ever been given, to be honest. It's always been me. And people are going to want to know, know, how did you get, tap in with Nike, you know, out of all the brands? Oh, that's... Uh, the crazy thing, that's not Nike, that's Ed's. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, I made this shoe from, like, legit scratch. I took all everything off that's and I've sourced crazy. the material. That's crazy. I literally I thought it was Nike. I made the holes on there bigger. Like, I did all that. I just found... I just used it for a nice silhouette. Okay. And we, we decided to actually go with, like, some Nike branding to kind of, like, yeah. make fun of people. Make fun of Nike, you know, just kind of you know, create that. So you're not going to get in trouble for that? I mean, I'm not making you copyright. You hope you no, do. Like, yeah. Nike, hey. Uh, hey, 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 annoying at times but mm-hmm. you just gotta be optimistic okay we gotta rewind we didn't talk about the obstacles yet so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanna know what the obstacles um, are I mean that was one social media is yep. one like just being on social media you guys know how toxic it is it can mm-hmm. be a weight and toll so yeah. that's, that's definitely one and then like trying to be like on a, a try like as a creative you always get into that that loophole of, like yo I gotta be the first one to do something or I gotta be Mm-hmm. I always gotta post content and it's not really always about that it's, it's like more so quantity over quality yeah. and so it's, you always gotta plan making sure you have a plan too because mm-hmm. if you don't have a plan you're gonna be cooked because mm-hmm. I'm bad at playing but as long as I have people around me to mm-hmm. hold each other accountable it's good but mm-hmm. some other things it's just like I'm not gonna say inspiration mm-hmm. but it's just like creator stuff. blocks too mm-hmm. that's another one. Oh, yeah. oh, creative um, blocks that yeah, is a yeah, huge yeah. one yeah mm-hmm. actually after um if you scroll down after like the ends world collection that we did we probably went on like a six month break no we ain't gonna say six we were like three or four it was we went a long I mean, time yeah but yeah other than that it definitely did like six months before shoes i mm-hmm. this whole summer i didn't do i was mm-hmm. working on customs but i didn't do mm-hmm. my continuous drop of what i what i plan on doing so how how does your drops work do you do yeah. seasonal do you so do i do monthly? what i plan on doing is damn they're doing like monthly like okay. if i can do monthly until i actually build my own silhouette mm-hmm. then that's the goal but right now since i'm working on it by with by myself mm-hmm. and um it's really just like month to month and then figuring out the inspiration of or a story that we can tell through mm-hmm. the shoe mm-hmm. and the marketing that we're going to do and then kind of going about it from there okay. i like how much time he takes into like making sure he has a, a good story behind the drops that he does okay yeah, he so you have like stories behind each other that's nice yeah, there's always so if you guys see like all of my past drops there's always something that's telling you from point b like 20, point a to mm-hmm. point b with the video or photo or all three of the above so how did you go from, you know, going to school in North Dakota in a small town to <laughs> Amp's creation? <laughs> Man, honestly, so I used to, like like I said, I was going to school and I was already still customizing shoes. And so when I was, like, meeting with all these other artists, just social media, because I didn't have, I couldn't be in Minneapolis at the time because I was going to school and I was mm-hmm. running track. So I had to network. And so basically with that, I was able to, when I moved to Fargo, I was a manager at finish line so mm-hmm. it was like i'm learning the systems and all that good stuff so mm-hmm. um with that it just gave me the inspiration like yo i could really put my name i could have myself on this part there's still independent people out here that's making it happen and i know i could have have that do the same thing so it was just literally, literally like i said learning and being inspired the whole time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. i'm just amazing with the shoe <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait to wear the shoe i can't wait to yeah. wear the shoe so where do you guys see yourself yeah. now? What's next uh, uh, for each of you? More heat. More heat. Okay. Yeah, sure. More heat. Stuff. More more products. More heat. Mm-hmm. More more, more collaborations. More content. Mm-hmm. Uh, more content. Yeah, I gotta start dropping more. Ice, just man. bigger bigger mm-hmm. productions <laughs> is really what we're trying to get into. Just making sure that like you know obviously with this we we did something that spoke to Minnesota. Yeah. We want to continue to do stuff like that on mm-hmm. a bigger scale. Like mm-hmm. have a commercial. Just have. 
as big of an impact on Minnesota's fashion scene and culture as, yeah. as best yeah. as we can. And mm-hmm. I feel like one thing too is like <clears throat> for Minnesota, a lot of people don't work as a team. So when we work as a team and we do stuff together, I love, I love showing people that like. What did Christina say? She said, <laughs> "You you what is it? You grow far by yourself, mm-hmm. but then with a team, you, grow, you grow faster yeah, and longer." Yeah, that's, that's true. So I feel like that's probably the next thing for us is showing everyone that like when you have a team. This is what we create. This yeah. is what we do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Videos, photos, yeah. designer, graphic designer, and then the artist. You know what I'm saying? We can mm-hmm. do crazy things as a team. Mm-hmm. So when I when we usually do our interviews, I usually ask questions that you guys would give like people that watch this advice. Advice. Like, what would you give like a young kid? What advice would you give them if they were Psst, to hey, start? Never stop like dreaming. This? <laughs> never stop dreaming. Never, never stop dreaming. dreaming. No. Always make dope shit. If What's you, your, yeah, what are you going to say? Sorry. No, like, go ahead, go ahead. You about, say, why don't we go one by yeah, one? So you start, start and then we'll go down line. What, I'll say, like, what I'll say is the three biggest things is like never stop dreaming. Don't listen to, to the haters. And that's just always thing. keep making dope shit. As long as you and your friends <laughs> mess with it, mm-hmm. then Facts. that's all that matters. Because that's, that's the people that you are trying to impress. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyone outside of your friend circle, anyone outside of the people that you care about, their opinion doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I will also say like take feedback rather negative or positive like mm-hmm. never like don't ever think like oh just because someone's telling me I, like I can't do something I mean I can't do it you know what I mean so mm-hmm. always take feedback and work work as hard as you can on your craft mm-hmm. Facts. that's what I would say I like that. Um, <clears throat> for me I would say be, always be authentic like if you're authentic it's going to last yeah. a longer time than Not you faking well. something because then it's going to eat you away if you're yeah. faking something mm-hmm. also be authentic um, be consistent that's mm-hmm. that's a really big one. It's a huge one. Stay optimistic and, like I said, surround yourself with people that actually want to work and see you do good <laughs> shit. Because if mm-hmm. you're not around, that it's going to just mm-hmm. tear you down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Absolutely. a fact. I was going to say, uh, don't let your pride get to you. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Don't let your pride get to you. Because <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of people out here when they their pride gets them and they just they don't get to that next step to mm-hmm. that next level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's the biggest one. Always gonna humble yourself. Absolutely. Humble yourself, for sure. And that's one thing that I respected about you guys when I reached out because I, I don't know how I came across the shoe. <laughs> Marketing. <laughs> when, when, I, when I saw the shoe, I was like, okay, I gotta reach out. Yeah, because you didn't. You didn't follow me. I yeah. Didn't, I didn't so like, I saw the shoe and I had to repost it. And yeah. then I reached out to you, yeah. and then you connected me with and yeah. and Zoom you guys were all humble. Yeah. That's that's one thing that makes people successful in yeah, business yeah. and I know we talked about that too yeah. at that Zoom call it's how humble you have you have to be to be able to yeah. succeed and then um, we also talked about like networking mm-hmm. um, that's one thing I learned about social media you, you have to have the courage to reach out yeah, yeah. like yeah. regardless of how much followers a person has exactly yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. shoot like, your shot you know, yeah. that's literally how I've gotten any, any and everybody I've always shot my shot Mm-hmm. And just like yeah, yo, if, I'm, if I'm not going to the direct source, I'm gonna find somebody in any way that I can that yeah. try to get to it. Because if you add value to them, they're not gonna mm-hmm. take it as a no. That's Especially true. as an artist, like big name artists and those people that are athletes, like all the art is still influenced by them. So yep. it's like yo, I can have some dope shit I've never had before. It's like definitely mm-hmm. gonna say yes. <laughs> I'm yeah. definitely gonna say yes. Mm-hmm. Sure. So what do you guys do to stay consistent and focused? Because you know we get a lot of distractions. So yeah. what is something that keeps you guys set straight, or is there something that um, like a routine that you guys do that will help you click and um, like, keep in mind. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I could say like just having them like be on my ass. Like, okay, so always, your team, like, your friends, yeah, you just yeah, like them. like like mm-hmm. them telling me like you mm-hmm. gotta post more. Like mm-hmm. mostly these two guys, like mm-hmm. oh Shad, you gotta post. You got hella content. You gotta post. So like having somebody be on my ass mm-hmm. is it, good to have because like you know they, and they always gonna keep me one hundred with me. Mm-hmm. If you don't like the photo, be like ah, I'm not really I'm not really rocking. That's that good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The honesty, really. It yeah. goes back um, to the transparency. Yeah. 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 That's everything. I, I love really that. Say, I just yeah, I just make sure we all stay in contact. Like okay, we'll FaceTime. Yeah. We'll literally call each other in the morning and FaceTime all day. <laughs> like three hours, four or five like, hours. We'll just be talking about right, shit. We'll, like, just... Be at work and everything. <laughs> 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 they got gotta meet each other real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know what I'm saying? But you know, we'll tell we'll, it'll be all jokes for three hours and we might spend the last hour like, yo, we should do a shoot this weekend mm-hmm. and that's usually how it goes. Yeah. Cause mm-hmm. you know, we're all artists and we all we all have the same energy, the same the same vibe. So mm-hmm. we might be all play for like the first you know for like 90 percent of the time but when that 10 percent comes mm-hmm. we gonna get to it and you know we're gonna, stuff, we're gonna create stuff like this yeah. wow yeah. that's fire um, so we also like another thing is just like we share stuff to each other like constantly like what's buzzing or like what's hot so it's like oh okay this is nice this is dope ass creative idea i never thought of let's implement it in our own selves mm-hmm. and um like i said everything just being outside to be honest mm-hmm. interacting with people is really what gets 
be the most like my inspiration because mm -hmm. I actually get to know what people want to connect to, mm -hmm. and so I can actually do that myself mm -hmm. and visualize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I was gonna say the same thing. We all just make sure we on face on each other, like throw a mood boards to each other, throw ideas to see if we're all on the same page. If we're not, then it's like we just keep doing the mm -hmm. same thing repetitively. Mm -hmm. So the next question is gonna be towards you. So how, I know you're in school. Yep. So how do you balance this whole team and then with school too? Man, to be honest, I like school, but like, <laughs> I put that kind of last, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is watching hey. this. My mom, my, mom, my, mom, my mom, but like, you know, like, of course I'm gonna end up graduating soon, yeah. but like, how, how I think about it is like, I want to do what I want to do first. So what are you studying? Uh, business administration. Okay, so that goes so, kind of yeah, into the you know line I mean? of you, like, you learning. To be honest with you, like the stuff I learned there. You can I, learn I, I can anywhere. Learn mm -hmm. anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Like on YouTube, YouTube University, I learned. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to graduate from YouTube. Yeah, you know, YouTube like, University. Like, 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 like YouTube, YouTube show me how to edit YouTube. photos, you know what I mean? Facts, like, facts. Like for like young photographers coming up, you don't have to go to photography school. No, you don't. You do not. So when did you guys pick up a camera and start so That's I've been shooting for about like four to five years now. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, yeah, like I had an archive of all my old photos because it was ugly. <laughs> but I've been shooting for a long time. Yeah. Um, when I first started, I started in Fargo. Like, Fargo don't really got nothing, so I was just taking pictures of like my friends. Like, mm -hmm. um, one of my boy Nolan's, my, uh, my, my oldest brother, Benji. So we were kind of just doing that. Um, and then I just kind of ventured. I don't know when this kind of hit, and I just started venturing. And I started going crazy. I think it was when I picked up the film camera. Mm -hmm. uh, um, just looking on Instagram too, mm -hmm. and looking at inspiration, be like, damn, that's dope. But like, I kind of want to create something like that. So, mm -hmm. like, like I said, looking at like going on Instagram, it creates kind of competition. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this person's photo is born, but I know I can do something. Mm -hmm. like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of something like that. I don't know, Poe, when the pose. Uh, for me, it was like when me and Fawn moved. Well, actually, no, Fawn was already at NDSU when I first came to NDSU. Yeah. We had two other roommates. My other roommate, TC, shout out Too Cool. Man. That's <laughs> cool. the guy. Cool. But he's a producer and an engineer. Mm -hmm. So he was doing that. The Fawn was doing graphics. Mm -hmm. And they're like, bro. And my other friend, John, was doing videos at the time. So like, bro, you got to do something. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right. <laughs> like, I guess I, they gave me my friend. My friend, John, gave me my first digital camera. I was like, okay, bet. Started shooting digital a little bit. Didn't really like it because I didn't know how to make my style different from everyone else. Yeah. Then I linked with Shaddy and Fargo, and then that's when that's when it changed. Like he introduced yeah. him to film, film mm -hmm. photography, and that's when it just switched Shout up. Cash wise. Wow. Yeah, yeah Shaddy Cash. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cash wise, we used to go to Cash Wise and develop our film. Five dollars. Five dollars. One hour and one hour is done. Wow. No, North Dakota yeah. would make you find something. <laughs> yeah, find that's something true. Yeah. That or you're gonna be doing you're yeah. gonna drink. Oh yeah, that was the end of your trip. Oh, yeah. You're right. Fargo would definitely make you find it will. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta sure. keep yourself busy. Yeah, you gotta yeah. definitely keep yourself busy in Fargo. You trouble if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just curious. It's a personal, but I know you guys are all black. But you guys are. Do you guys have different like ethnicity? Or you guys are from Africa? Um, I'm Kenyan. Kenyan. Yeah, I'm Kenyan. Okay. I'm, I'm Liberian. Liberian. Okay. Yeah. I'm black. You're black. Yeah. Oh, you're African American. <laughs> 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 and Nigerian. And Nigerian. Mm -hmm. oh, no, that's cool. I, Cause I was gonna say you guys look like a melting pot. That's yeah. really, really dope. Uh, that's awesome. You welcome Yeah, place. literally from everywhere. Somehow I ended up in Fargo in Minneapolis. <laughs> so let's go back to this shoe. <laughs> the, the, the people that miss the drop. Are you gonna release? When was the drop? Okay. Uh, last Saturday. Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday was the drop. Okay, when you posted on Instagram. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. He was trying to make you decide whether to give you a Valentine's Day a date or get the shit. And, 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 no, and for real. And, 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 and that's honest, he did yeah. it. On, he did it on a perfect day. A, yeah. lot, a lot of shoes dropped that day, so the people that missed those drops, yeah. was like, oh, they, they got to come. I got another pair. Of yeah. So, 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 they gotta get the heat. You gotta get something. Yeah. A lot of people were mad because they, they actually missed out. You know, once sold they sold out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Monday. It was Monday, really. Wow, so you sold out fast. Yeah. So Sorry. that's love. <laughs> so are you going to be dropping it again? Or are you going to make a new line? Yeah, are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I, might, I, might, I might do it in person because I got to... Um, I'm making a make the orders right now, so oh, I'm probably gonna make some more in the in the process, and then uh, when everybody comes in to go and receive them, I'll probably do something where you guys can come and I'll have an extra few pairs so that you can come and grab and then buy some more t-shirts. Make some girl shit. pairs, some yeah. girl sizes. This is really nice. Uh, I like it. Uh, so how does how does the process of make to order go? Basically, it's just like me working on like a shoe every day. I mean, mm -hmm. I work on shoes damn near daily, 
if not like yeah it's almost it's literally a lifestyle so it's literally just me having all the like preset sizes of what people want and everything so just working on the shoes and then get them out to them what's like uh what's the time frame um, one pair of shoes well two pairs yeah. of shoes, I, say. I mean for two pair. pairs like what one for a pair oh um like the time frame for what to if make I'm a really shoe? locked in locked in mm -hmm. on one pair like it should probably be like two hours Nice. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm locked in, I'm I be don't talk to me. Damn near, like yeah, I hear Long you, time. but it's like out there. One through through another. I got my music on. It's cooked. I've mm -hmm. seen him do it. Like he will not hear what you're saying. <laughs> so do you, is it just in your own apartment that you yeah. do this stuff? Or until I get my studio pretty soon. So, but yeah, it's just in my apartment. You guys collaborate. Do you have a vision Amazon. board? Uh, mostly low key. No, mm. I just be I, honestly. I'm a visual. We were just learner. talking about yeah, we um, like, the last that, interview. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes no, actually though, when I do the marketing, it's a must because it could be. Yeah. You can go left sure. very fast without it. So, um, when we build a mood board for like the like oh, what nice. the look and the story, that's when it's mandatory. But like me designing the shoes, I just visualize it in my head. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. The mood board makes the whole thing just. It makes it easy. Like that's the secret sauce, if you want. Yeah. It really is. It's creating, yes, yeah, the secret sauce. As long as you have a mood board, the whole process is easy. Mm. Wow, that's awesome. Well, everybody uses a mood board. I hope that's so. The best for time. Can you explain for people who don't know what a mood board is? What's a mood board? So it's basically just like, like kind of like reference Im images. Okay. So like, for example, like say I see like like a, like, like a photo like that, mm -hmm. I would be like, okay, I want to kind of create that. So you would just take screenshots, or how do you do? You can save it to a mood board. Uh, Pinterest got a lot of those, so you can just kind of look, yeah. like basically exploring the atoms to, to your mood board, like, oh, I kind of want to create something like this, or I kind of want to yeah, do something I've like that. I've done that before, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. yeah it's basically how you, how you feel. Like, mm -hmm. It's like, like grabbing references mm -hmm. and then yeah. creating your own thing. Mm -hmm. Creating all into one, mm -hmm. one little project. Do you guys have any more trips coming? Because it seems like you guys are traveling. Man, we just came more. back from LA. Yeah, dated. Uh, he, he didn't end up going. He was too busy working. <laughs> he was too busy working. He was too busy working. He was too busy doing this, but. LA was lit, man. LA was. LA was coming soon. Do you guys go to LA to get inspiration for the shoe? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, like, so we didn't tell y'all about the first trip. <laughs> the first trip when we all went to LA, well, me, me us three, um, me, Poe, and Shadi, I mean, me, Poe, and Fawn, we literally we got snuck in backstage to Rolling Loud and met <laughs> with every single artist. Every we artist you can oh, think of. And now we're gonna... pitching, like, this is our first time out there, and we're yeah, people are getting caught walking in the stage when we walk in there, <laughs> and we just hop in there just talking this boom, 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 PNB Rock, Lil Baby, Gunna, Wayne was um, there. Metro wow. Boomin, was Metro Boomin, like, all these big time uh, artists. Offset. And, like, offset. we're just running up, like, yo, I'm a designer, I'm do this pose, like, oh, I'm a photographer, let me shoot you. He's like, I'm a photographer, I'm a manager, like, Everybody's just pitching their stuff, and from that point, we use that same what same hustle and mindset. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, we're just gonna get in this. I like you guys are go getters, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and using that, like, being out there, like, yeah. we would wear some stuff that's not really exceptional out in the Midwest, out mm -hmm. there, and test it, and get hella compliments. Like, mm -hmm. I had a pink pair of shoes. Um, I was gonna drop called the Cozy Air Force mm -hmm. Ones, and mm -hmm. they were inspired by like, Cameron. Mm -hmm. And I wore them while I was in to New York, New York on Canal Street, perfect area to wear. I had people walking across the street, homeless mm -hmm. people, and all those like, yo, <laughs> what are those? I need them, I need them. Mm -hmm. And it's like doing that, going out to those bigger cities, and just having that confirmation was just like, yo, that, mm -hmm. we know there's a bigger picture wow. with everything that we got going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah. And like also just not being like scared or nothing, like. Like, I mean, you're going to get turned down, you know For what I mean? For sure. Oh, man, so we like, got turned down. You, you Someone Tyler like, Creator. Yeah, Tyler like, Creator was Oh, yeah, so one time, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> man, that was disrespectful. Bro, literally, <laughs> I was out, Um, so they had got into the ASAP um, Rocky, I mean, yeah, right? it was ASAP, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rocky party. party. Yeah. And it was like a midnight party, so I'm waiting to get inside. Everybody's leaving and stuff, and um, Tyler Creator's outside, and I'm like, you know, I should just, I'm about to go tell him what's good. So I'm like, oh, yo, Tyler, what's up? So I'm a shoe designer, da, da, I can do something, like, tell him, like, what's good. He's like, yo, you like, honestly, if I was supposed to know about you, I would know who you are right now. And so I'm gonna look. I'm like, all right, give me, I was like, give me like, give me like three or five years. You're gonna know who I am for yeah. sure. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Wow. Yeah. But that motivated you yeah. to go harder. Yeah. 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 But like, some other people would have took that, like, oh, like, I'm, and I'm what not quit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, fuck that nigga. Yeah. 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 No, that's like, good. Yeah. Wow, Tyler. Mm. Yeah, gotta, as soon as I see that nigga again, I'm definitely saying <laughs> <laughs> That's like, bro, you, you guys remember that? You heard that, Tyler? <laughs> you remember me? Yeah, I kind of right. feel it, though, because you got to think about how many people approach him with that same energy. Yeah. Lil Yachty was on the same thing before. Oh, yeah, Lil, Lil Yachty. Yachty. We met him out there, too, that same thing. thing. Mm. Yeah. I was like, yo, Yachty, I did this design for you. It was going viral on Twitter. And he was like, so? He's like, how's like, that going to benefit, like, benefit me? And I was like, oh. Oh, okay. He was like, oh, this is y'all want some loud? I'm like, yeah. Do you guys want some weed? I don't smoke. I ain't going to benefit. I was like, I put money in my pockets. Yeah, that's what he 
what he said. That's what changed. That's Loki. What changed our mindsets when we go to these other states too? Because after he said that, that was my mindset. Like when I approached someone, like it's like yeah, like that's cool, but like what are we gonna grow mm-hmm. from this? You know. Yeah. And so that's after that we changed the model of like yo, we just do something, mm-hmm. work with us. It's like yo, we want to do this. Like be specific. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really let them know the direction you're trying to go and how it can and how it can make Benefit money or them. you know mm-hmm. do something. And that's where we started to see change. I know we went to Chicago. Yeah, that was and that's, one, too. Um, we it was Lyrical to, Lemonade. Lyrical Lemonade. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so I had, like, a little booth area that I was going to be a vendor for. Oh, nice. um, some things I didn't backfire, but I still had my banner, so I was, yeah. I was still there. <laughs> but we actually got backstage again, and we were just back there for the whole weekend mm-hmm. and just hanging out with all the artists yeah, and, like, chopping it up. Show. And obviously there was some artists, like, that wasn't really rocking with us mm-hmm. just because, you know, we yeah. got a bunch of shit going on, but yeah. other artists were like, yo, trying to come up with this and that. Like, mm-hmm. Just a bunch of dope experiences. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I like the fact that you guys are, you know, you guys take those little setbacks and you make yeah, it into yeah, major yeah, um, turnbacks. That's major, awesome. So, but yeah. can't fold. No. Sometimes it hurts. I'm not gonna lie. It, yeah. it hurts sometimes. Like you hurt for like 30 minutes, and you're like, you know what? Yeah. Like fuck. Oh, <laughs> damn. You go back to the hotel. You're like, oh man. You no, but you'll back. remember that for the rest of yeah. your life, and uh, you're gonna sure. take that because when yeah. you make it, you gonna remember what you know what that person oh, yeah. said, yeah. and you'll be like, you know what? Here I am, better doing better than what you thought. So like, oh. that's important. Yeah. They felt it. It was loud as shit. He said it loud. He said it loud. Said, yeah, I'm just new, but <laughs> and, then, and then also he was trying to sneak in a little photo. He's like, bro, didn't I say stop taking photos? Yeah, I was like, all right, like, bro, my, my bad, bad, my bad. bad. <laughs> that's why I'm taking a photo an hour ago, bro. Yeah. 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 But, you, know. you guys are hilarious. I love it. Um, uh, I'm excited for what you guys got in the future. Um, I'm pretty much done with. Just come and part. see us when you're getting the next job. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Hey, I'm yeah. saying that's a ten and a half right there. You can take that one. Don't <laughs> <laughs> gotta tell me. Absolutely. No, um, you know what we like to do here at Eat and Talk is we love to see the progress. So yeah. we're gonna invite you back. Uh, um, hopefully soon. Um, we'll keep in touch. We'll promote you guys. We'll link all of you guys's um, Instagram, social media, and the website. We have a lot of people from different background so keep an eye out you guys yeah. for Anne's creations yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you guys <laughs> so <laughs> much <laughs> for coming <laughs> here um, I enjoyed the conversation I know a lot of people um, especially you know 2020 everybody kind of woke up and was like I need to do something with my life mm-hmm. um, and some people are still in the process of figuring it out so <laughs> when they watch this hopefully this will motivate them and connect with you guys hopefully you guys won't do a little yachty like them but exactly so Thank you guys.